Well, here we are once again. The coldest nights have begun and 74 year old unhoused man is dead. The Sacramento County Coroner's Office says his death is the first hypothermia death of the season. Morris Job froze to death just before Thanksgiving. And as a society, we do need to ask ourselves, are we OK with this? What are the county and cities doing? And what can we all do for the thousands of people who continue to remain on the streets? Meg Hobbegger has tonight's main point. Back in January of 2021, you may recall several people experiencing homelessness died during an intense winter storm, prompting this outcry from Mayor Daryl Steinberg. There's a huge storm out here. People are going to die tonight. We can't get a goddamn warming center open more than one night because our, the county has rules. I'm sick of this. Steinberg referring to Sacramento County's threshold at the time for opening overnight shelters, needing to see overnight temperatures at 32 degrees or colder for at least three days. At the time of the storm, those emergency shelters were not open. So later that year, ahead of another big storm, Sacramento opened the lobby of its city hall for the first time ever as a temporary overnight shelter. We spoke with city council member Katie Valenzuela that day. And this is a shift in practice both due to community outcry and due to what we saw last winter. We know that this is necessary to keep people safe. She wants to see city hall opened again, something she asked city leaders to do at last week's council meeting. I'd like to request that we consider opening city hall lobby just for the next few days because I am very worried about the rain and cold and we've done that previously and it seemed to have worked well. But City Hall's lobby remains closed overnight. A city spokesperson tells us the city is continuing to monitor the National Weather Service's forecast and will extend and expand warming center operations as needed. Currently, the city has two overnight cold weather shelters open since November 28th and scheduled to remain open until at least December 8th. One is the Outreach and Engagement Center at 3615 Auburn Boulevard. The other is the North 5th Street Shelter at 700 North 5th Street. Between the two, there are 70 beds, and the city says they have not hit capacity in the week they've been open. The county has opened the lobby of its Department of Human Assistance office as a walk-in overnight shelter. That's at 1725 28th Street. A growing number of people are using that option in addition to the county's motel voucher program and North A shelter, but both of those are referral only. I'm a little worried about folks in the central city um, having trouble getting to the other locations. Valenzuela says she wants to see more winter shelter options Options for the unhoused community in the downtown core. But for now, City Hall remains closed overnight. Becca joins us now. Becca, you said that the city is monitoring the weather conditions, but what exactly are they looking for? Well, Alex, the mayor's heated words came because the county hadn't opened these shelters ahead of this impending storm. He was flabbergasted that the conditions that we all saw in late January of 2021 wouldn't prompt that. But since that time, both the county and the city have switched to a new set of criteria for opening these winter overnight shelters. They are, uh, instead of waiting for freezing temperatures, it's now overnight lows of 37, not 32, for at least two out of the next five days, or two consecutive nights of rain, or one day or night of rain, and one night of freezing uh, in the forecast. So um, still, those are very cold nights, but yeah. it's a little bit, there's a little bit more leeway for opening those earlier. And I do want to ask you, I mean, it's, it's heartbreaking to hear anybody pass, but to realize that someone's died of hypothermia, how cold was it the night that uh, Mr. Job died? You know, he died on, in the hospital on the 18th. He was found in his encampment on the 17th. The night of the 17th, it was 39 degrees, so that by itself would not have triggered the opening of an overnight winter shelter. That's devastating. All right, Becca, thank you so much. We appreciate it. And this is something that we'll be following closely. And if it gives any insight into how desperate people can get outside, unhoused people told us today, the To The Point crew, that they were looking for hand sanitizer so that they can start fires just to keep themselves warm.